harnessing the power of the sun and energizing efforts to save the planet. Solar energy projects are popping up all over the country, including here in the California high desert. This property is about 200 megawatt project itself. Clearway Energy owns and operates this facility about two hours north of LA. The company just getting a green light from the Interior Department to build a solar farm on federal land outside Palm Springs. So our Victory Pass Erica project, when it's complete, will be 465 megawatts of solar and 400 megawatts of battery uh, on BLM land. The farm coming to this land is the Bureau of Land Management's first development approval as part of its Desert Renewable Energy Conservation Plan. President Biden and Secretary Holland have asked us to ensure that we deliver a carbon-free future for the country, that our electricity in 2035 is carbon-free. And that means we need to uh, turn to renewables and turn fairly quickly. The Bureau is looking at dozens of proposals for clean energy projects on public lands. Last year, about 20% of all electricity generated in this country came from renewable sources. And that number is projected to tick up every year. So we get reflection off the ground um, that hits really the bottom of the module. Sort of underneath. Underneath, exactly. Okay. We walked through one of Clearway's solar farms, similar but about half the size of the new generation and storage project BLM just advanced, a project that will create enough energy to power 132,000 homes. This project is being built on about 2,600 acres here in Riverside County, but the federal government is opening up a much larger piece of land, almost 11 million acres for farming, clean energy farming. The Desert Energy Plan in California targets land in seven counties for development of clean energy, but also protects ecosystems and recreation space. Still Manning calls the plan a model for the country. About being really smart from the start and uh, having our values laid out on a map about how we power our society, how we protect our uh, lands for the future. Solar development doesn't come without some controversy. The industry recently blasted the Commerce Department for launching an inquiry into whether imports of solar panels from Southeast Asia circumvent rules that limit imports from China. There's a, a bit of a, a cognitive dissonance between the goals that we have and, and sort of the on-the-ground policymaking that's being made. Clean energy leaders say the commerce action could cost thousands of jobs and put 80 percent of planned solar projects at risk. One industry group saying the inquiry could be apocalyptic. The damage to a certain extent is being done as we speak um, insofar as shipments are getting delayed and that will only compound on itself and create further supply chain issues. The agency offering up federal land to build renewables isn't involved in the investigation and doesn't expect it to stop development. I have incredible faith in American ingenuity that uh, if we have to, we'll start building the solar panels here. The demand is clearly there for solar power, uh, which means that, that the supply is going to come. That demand coming from places like Ojai, California, where mother of two Michelle Ellison helped lead the charge to make renewable energy the first choice for her community. I really became compelled to take action and do everything I could to protect my children's future. I'm concerned about what they're inheriting. Ellison's family is working to reduce its carbon footprint with their own solar panels and electric car. And like many of her neighbors now, she has 100% renewable energy coming into her house. She's happy to see the government moving in a cleaner direction. The magnitude, the urgency of the climate crisis necessitates policy level change at all levels of government. The type of change that would turn a seemingly barren wasteland into fertile ground for the future of our planet. Now, the Clearway project is expected to come online in 2024. And remember, this is just the first project the Bureau of Land Management has approved. More than 50 utility-scale onshore clean energy proposals out west are waiting for a green light. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.